Although we discuss the mitzvah of prayer in daily mitzvah number 17 and on, but because the campaign of studying the daily Rambam of Seifah Mitzvot runs parallel with the three chapter track as discussed in daily mitzvah number 13, so we are going to be for the next few days studying what they are studying, which that is the Nusach HaTfilah the order of prayer as the Rambam lays it out for us. Now the Rambam doesn't go and list out everything that we say during the prayers, his Nusach. He just puts out the general sections and the paragraphs, sometimes by just adding on the word etc. after he states which paragraph is supposed to be exactly where. So we'll go through some ideas on prayer. While discussing prayer, I just want to mention two very important points. Number one, with regards to the language. Ideally, it's best to pray in Hebrew because the Hebrew language, that's the our holy tongue, the Torah was given to us in Hebrew. God created the world with the Hebrew language and the language, the prayer in Hebrew will be far richer and far more accurate. In addition to that, the sages, when they put together the prayer, so there were a lot of deep mystical ideas which they put into the words, which are alluded to, hinted to, whether it's the gematria or whether it's part of the vowels, which those deep mystical meanings will only exist in the Hebrew language. That being said, it's far more important and it overrides that someone should pray in a language that they understand because obviously prayer is to connect with Hashem and therefore I need to feel that I need to understand what I'm saying so if someone doesn't understand Hebrew then one it's better that one should pray in English but he should gradually study and learn little paragraphs at a time, little sections of the prayer and learn them in the Hebrew language and learn their meaning so he could slowly, slowly transfer from learning it in the language that he does understand to eventually be able to move over to the Hebrew language. Point number two, that when it comes to prayer, because our souls are already in touch with Hashem, they're already connected. But that's not enough. The idea of prayer is that we should be conscious of this connection. We should feel it. We should sense it in our bodies as well. So that's why with prayer, it's not good enough just to sit there and mind read the words or to think about the prayer or to meditate on the prayer. It's important we actually verbalize it. We utter it and we say it. Because this way, it makes it not just a soul connection with Hashem, but it makes us also become aware, unconscious, and feel this connection. Now going on to some of the prayers. So the first thing we do is Modani. Modani is a time when we, as soon as we wake up, we sit up in bed even before we wash our hands. It's our time when we offer gratitude to Hashem for returning our neshama and being thankful, being thankful for us being here. And also, as we say, we address Hashem as Melech. It's a good way to start off the day to think of Hashem as being our King and that He's constantly going to be watching over us the whole entire day and therefore we should act appropriately. After that, after we wash our hands in the morning, then there are another 14 blessings which are said where we offer thanks to Hashem for various different things that He gave us the ability to, to see, to stand up, to get dressed, etc. And then after that, there are blessings which we say over the Torah. There's a few blessings which are said over the commandment of giving to that God gave us to study the Torah over the words of saying the words of Torah etc and then we also have another prayer which is put at the beginning of prayer with a one line where we say Hareini mekabel alai mitzvah tasei shelva hafta lerecha komocha because which means that I accept upon myself the mitzvah of loving my fellow Jew because for a father the most important and joyous thing is to see that his children are together and therefore what has to, as a prerequisite, before we come to Ahavat Hashem, which that's what we're doing in Torah, to love Hashem, first, as a step to that, we have Ahavat Yisrael. Hashem sees that we love each other, then that's a step in the right direction to loving Hashem.